So let's talk about the uh, big business show, the rating that came out, which uh, I think was a bit of a disappointment overall. I, if you just look at the number for the sake of I, the number, I, 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 th I thought I thought it was a very disappointing number. I mean, they've been building the mat the, the show up. Um, I mean, we can certainly look in hindsight. You know, mm -hmm. number one, um, you know, there's there's a couple of lessons to be learned, and obvious the obvious ones that people already know. And one is is that you got something like this, you freaking promote it. That's what promoting is is all about. I mean, I think with the benefit of hindsight, that that the success of Punk doing it that way was a really big mistake. You know, I mean, it was it was it, it was so. I mean, I'm just saying it was so successful that it taught them something that became a really big mistake so they did it again um it, it's it is interesting because they did draw very well in the building mm -hmm. you know i mean um they had their biggest um their biggest um tv crowd in uh geez it's a long time since they had a tv crowd that big i think um maybe um the last show in september in arthur ash stadium may have been the biggest tv crowd that i can recall that was you know like because they had like they had 9500 paid you know and, and over probably probably ten thousand in the building um and um yeah i mean that's that was that was very successful but the tv ratings i mean there was it was the same it's basically the same number that they got the week before and that they've been getting um you know 0.27 i mean you know it's 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 tough competition you had you had some um get some big college basketball tournament games but they did not draw big numbers they drew much less than aew you had two nba games. well you know one nba game espn had the double header but the one nba game head to head which was a which did a, which did fine and then and survivor did great survivor you know? was a giant what happened there yeah yeah survivor i don't know but survivor yeah the survivor number was giant yeah i don't think smackdown's gonna be able to beat survivor this week i thought that smackdown would be number one this week and um i mean it is you know rock is on the show again so you know it'll do well but i don't think it's beaten that number um so um but yeah i mean yeah survivor was was the big number one show probably of the week and it went you know i mean of, of the, it will be this week because you know the oscars obviously were the biggest but that was last sunday but um so they went ahead to that that probably hurt a little bit too but you know even even saying all that it should have been bigger you know it was um they had a world title. They had Okada. They had Will Ospreay. Although, you know, Okada and Will Ospreay are not going to draw big numbers on, on you know. The idea with them is, is that, to me, is that, like you, you you have to build them. Um, and, um, you know, and, and it's not even build them. It's build the whole team and the whole perception and everything like that. Slow process. Um, it's not going to be easy. And it's not going to be easy at all right now because uh, WWE is WrestleMania season and um people only have so many hours a week to watch wrestling i mean this is about you know i mean this number is about where there are and it's not a bad number i mean i thought it was a bad number for this specific show yeah but if it was just a normal wednesday um and you saw this number it'd be like yeah it's a normal number but but yeah she did not draw extra and the other one too is is you know willow and uh reho main event you know it, it, this is the big thing and and it goes the same for um for raw as well i mean it's like if raw has the wrong people in the main event um it will tumble badly and they've learned that so they don't put the wrong people in the main event um i mean they did put Sami Zayn and, and and chad gable in this week but it was also part of this gauntlet for a, a wrestlemania match and right now the idea of a wrestle the stakes of being a wrestlemania match are big enough that 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 you know that 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 worked um but you know Willow and Rio was not it, you know and they've that's that's happened before it's like if you don't have a strong enough main event you are going to drop at the end and this was not a strong main event and um some people were like oh everyone knew Mercedes was going to come out i don't i don't think they did you know i mean but whatever you know it, it's you know they especially on Wednesday they have to have a main event that's a main event rather than put Samoa Joe and uh, Wardlow on first you know maybe that should have been on last that being said it only made a slight bit of difference. It's mm -hmm. not like the reality is, is when the show started, they were at the same level that they usually are. So they were going to be at the same level. They did not have extra people tune in because Mercedes was on the show. So that is, you know, so it was, it was going to do a normal number, you know, like if they had put, 
you know, like not put put Willow and Riho on, you know, early and something else late at the end. Would it have done better? Yes, but it's still maybe it could have done an 0.28. It's not like it's going to there was a difference between that and doing an 0.30 because it's not. I have a question about that Mercedes segment. I thought the presentation was awesome. She looked like a giant star, all of that. She but came, on- she came, she came off well, and they that uh the the entrance music's gonna get people to chant CEO at her. As a personality, I think she came off really strong. Um, but the jury's out. I mean, the thing with her is is like, you know, um, I mean, I, I was I was happy to see the way she moved, she seemed like she was healed because that's she had a very bad injury and, and sometimes so much so that she said she the doctor was saying something about her career. Possibly yeah, yeah, yeah. Her career was in jeopardy, I guess, I guess. It was a very serious injury. And so and but we still don't know what she's got physically because she hasn't wrestled yet. So and, and the thing is, is that she her standard, it's not like it's someone who's like a great personality. Not that not a personality is bad, but 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 some people get over based on personality and then an injury like that that makes them tone down their style doesn't really hurt them that much. But I think that she, because she made her bones on being a great wrestler, um, you know, if she can still be a great wrestler, then then that's fine. But if, if there's a difference, it could hurt her. Yeah. I guess my question is, we knew that the opening segment was going to be the biggest number uh, uh, of the show. And so mm-hmm. she comes out. I was waiting for her to actually promote something and so she was I. didn't. So was I. And it's so. like you have, you know, you cannot have her debut again. Like this is the first time she's going to debut. And the only time. I, I would have set something up where her first program is going so that, well, you know, have, and, or have her somebody, first have, match. Have, have somebody, have somebody come, even if they didn't come out in that promo, you know, come out very soon afterwards. But yeah, I mean, and, and you know what? Like, what is her big promo? Was it Julia Hart? Is it is it Tony Storm? Is it um, Britt Baker? You know, who's not even on TV yet? Um, is it Serena Deeb? You know, who was seemed to do a promo in that direction, and then we haven't seen her. There was uh, a tease of Willow, and then at the end of the show, they raise each other's well, hands. Well, Willow Willow is a natural match. That's probably the match to do on the first pay per view, I think. But that's a weird one too because Willow's very popular. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's probably it's it, it's probably the best first match to do storyline wise. Not that a lot of people know the story, but it's still more people know that story than the other story. Yeah, I just thought if we learned anything from last week, which is you know you have these moments where you know that the audience is going to be there, and you can use those moments to set things up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just thought that that was a little bit of a missed opportunity there for them in the, in the beginning of that show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, um, but the, I mean, you know, the, there, there's, there's, there's a lot going. I mean, it's, 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 it, you know, it was a disappointing number though. Um, and, um, you know, it's not the, the year to have disappointing numbers, but it's still, it was still third place. They still beat, they still beat networks. You know, they beat, uh, ABC in in for an hour of the two, and they beat uh, NBC the whole night, and they beat Fox in the second hour. Obviously, got killed by CBS, but everyone did, um, and lost to ESPN and I think Telemundo as well. But it's still, you know, it's still among the the, the strongest of all the stations um, for the night. And when you know, it, so so it's it was, it was the the number is a big success, but you know. You know, I yeah, I expected a higher number. So in that sense, you know, you look at it and go like, yeah, it's disappointing. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you? WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers 
at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.